Well, okay. Fourth best is three behind you, I suppose. Alright, so. Jezza Peach is playing Mario, not Meta Knight. Neek's got the oh, Mii Brawler. And the one thing I'm not one, certain of is go. which Mii Brawler are we, are we playing today. <laughs> Alright. Looks like he's being really nice and he's showing off which special set he's using for here. Oh, or is it a bug check? No, I'm, I think Nick's just being nice. Alright, so it was not a bug check. Here we go. Right, so, game one uh, Mario and Mii Brawler. Do you play either of these characters very often? I have played Mii Brawler in the past. He's got some strong moves and. Uh... Definitely has a lot of all that spike oh, on the up B. That's very so early cheesy. stock taken. Yeah, it's such a cheesy option, but Neek loves it. He loves just going for those. Oh, it's not even a suicide kill because you can just grab the ledge on your way down and uh, yeah, just it just lets you steal stocks very early. But yeah, I feel like these characters are actually quite similar. You know, they kind of they're about the same size. They both have they have like some similar like brawly play styles. Um, Mario, of course, has fireballs and cape, which are a bit more unique compared to. Um, but then again, we got Brawler with the flip jump, um, and I think he was running the Flurry Rush punches. I think. Yeah, Flurry Rush. I think he's got the. I always forget the name of it, but it's the throw one. The, the shot ones, I believe. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright, and... But Jezza PJ, he's still playing well. Uh, hasn't been too shook or got tilted by his first stock. Uh, he's been racking up the damage with the Mario. Oh, that's a back throw. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, surviving it though. Oh, that was really... Yeah, that's just one thing that, uh, that, uh, that a Mii can do. You, know, you can just kind of go high. Of course, his landing did not get punished by uh, Jesse PJ, but he ended up finding up smash out shield eventually. And now we got a pretty even game. I'm liking Jesse PJ's back airs. Uh, neutral, he's kind of keeping his distance and just playing, just trying to play safe. Trying to get those landing aerials. Trying to set up a few good combos. Oh, yeah. Oh, three up airs. Unfortunately, it puts a back. Oh, that was a very nice landing back. Oh, oh, he's covering it! Gets the forward air spike, but missed the edge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you can tell though, uh, like Jezza PJ, he's caught on to Nick's uh, high use, his use of the high flip jump. He's going up, like, he's making sure to drift into what's center, and he's just trying to make sure that uh, Nick can't just sneak past him with the down beam. definitely has caught on to the Nick's points uh, of uh, recovering high. Yeah. But the captain very high rush very nice. in the early kill oh, and the response from the back air. Yeah, these guys are so even. Last stop, game one. And let's see who gets their low percent combos first. Looks like Nick's off to a pretty good start. Just getting the jabs. Oh, just flex. Again, that uh, racking up that percentage with those uh, fly rushes. Yeah. It's like, it's just a really active move, right? You can kind of hang in the air for a bit, and you can stall, and just just covers this area for a while. But yeah, Nick is running away with this. He's got a huge lead at the moment. Oh, I thought that was going to spike him. Not quite. Oh! Jesus, that was so he called out that Very jump close hard. to the match right there. Yeah. Oh, I see you, Jezza PJ. He's got those fireball reverses. Just kind of moving around Nick's shield. Oh, is he dead? Yeah, yeah that's that's uh, death right there with the flyer rush. He's taken the first match here. Yeah, that was um. That's a bit surprising, because uh, I actually thought that it, it wasn't going to kill, because I expected it to be stale, because he was kind of using it a lot during that stock, but no, it's just really, it's just a really strong kill move, and like I mentioned before, it, it just lasts a really long time, so when your opponent, you know, is like doing like a get up from the ledge, it'll cover jump, it'll cover neutral get up, and yeah, just perfect, perfect coverage by Neek to get the kill, 
the last stock. Looks like yeah. they're changing. He's up. I mean, they could just be changing stages. Uh, maybe Battlefield yeah. was not the pick. Although, I mean, Battlefield is a Mario stage through and through. So, I wonder what he's changing. Maybe it's he's changing character. Maybe we'll see the Meta Knight out. <laughs> will be interesting to see the Meta Knight out. Wondering if uh, Neek changing stages or if uh, changing me brawlers. Oh, true. Neek does love to do that. He, just a fun bit of trivia about Neek. He he buys like individual mini skins, and I think he has like twenty or thirty of them. He's probably played like every co like every possible combination of Me Brawler. I swear, he just loves the Mees. <laughs> the Me Brawlers are quite fun, but <laughs> never see how people could get so good with them. Yeah, I mean. I mean, Brawl is a bit of a sleeper character, I think. Uh, kind of takes the top player to... Oh, never oh, mind. Oh, nice Samus. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this matchup is going to be a real clash of styles, right? So in the previous game, we had Mario and Mii Brawler. They both, you know, want to get up close and personal, and get those, you know, like those long combos with the up airs and the and stuff. But in this game, we've got Classic Zona against the classic Zone Breaker, right? Yeah. And with a uh, Gizat, I can't pronounce his name. Kind of starting off with a ladder right there, gains three percent. Yep. He is rushing Nick down really well with this Meta Knight. Oh, baited options. up. No punish though. Just, just go for the shield. It's all right. Yeah. And oh my goodness, he is. Chasing him down, making sure that Nick does not get back to stage for free at all. And yeah, so far, oh. Jesse PJ is in total control of this game. Nick has not had time to charge the projectiles, to you know, just set up and have room to breathe at all. Definitely one sided right here. Right. But Nick coming up with the double up airs. Let him on stage, oh, wall. Cannon right there. Yeah, Nick is trying his best to maintain the space there, and at, like as soon as uh, Jensen PJ lands and he's, you know, and he's he's on stage, then Nick has to start worrying and like switch gears again straight away because that then he has to instantly start worrying about dash attack, dash grab, you know, all the Meta Knight things. Oh, that was a really nice catch grab. From grab. Barely dodging the projectile. Yeah. All right. I'm loving what I'm seeing from Nick now. So he's noticed that, uh, well, that the yeah, Meta Knight is trying to jump over his fares. Sorry, to uh, jump over his uh his missiles and his charge shots, and he's just going for those big anti airs uh, with the short up fare. And it worked out. Unfortunately, he did get back air for the stock, and Jazzy PJ is straight back to it. Trying to go off stage for the back end kill. Yeah, he missed that by like a, a pixel, maybe two pixels. <laughs> Very close. Oh, yeah, the PJ better watch his shield though. It's quite low. Great bait by Nick. One thing that is really great to see from Samus players is knowing, you know, to just mix up what you do with your charge shot. Sometimes you can charge it and shoot it, you can jump and shoot, you can cancel it and grab. Cancel into shield, cancel into roll. Nick has been mixing up his options very well so far. Definitely trying to take back some control of the game. Yep. But still, just he just not done. Oh, nope, there we go. I've jinxed him. <laughs> I've definitely jinxed him. Oh, is he teching? Uh, he is not teching. Is he alive though? Oh, he the stall came in handy. Yep. Great use of the down being unfortunate by uh by, by uh, Jesse PJ there. Unfortunately just hit him the wrong way. Up to, uh, the up air is not gonna confirm his up B. So he's gonna have to kill him with a back air or an F smash. Oh, oh up, up, out up of the out of shield coming in. Yeah. That was really great awareness actually. Like usually, you know, you get an up B out of shield when you're on like when you're on the ground, but uh, Nick kind of had that ambiguous spacing 
Smash, where he was just drifting under the platform and just knowing that he was going to hit with that scoop was really, really well done. Very well, very much knowing the moves hitboxes and how it works. Yeah, exactly. You can tell that he has played this Meta Knight for a while. It's, and he knows what he's doing with the character. Oh, that down air! Trying to go I for thought... a spike. Nah, Meta Knight down air doesn't spike, it's, but it was going to uh, interrupt the tether and then he went for a second one. And you can only tether to the ledge, I believe, three times before it can stop working. So if you get interrupted, oh, yeah. it is dangerous. Is there going to come in here, though? Just stop pushing back a little bit. Yeah. Whoa. These, these tornadoes, though. Alright, Nick's, Nick's had enough of these. He's like, no, get out of my face. I got up the. Oh, no! Down too fast and missing the lane. Yeah. That's really unfortunate. Huh? He was bringing it back as well. I mean, to be fair, I think that I felt like uh, I felt like Jesse PJ had that had that game under control for the most part. He was consistently, you know, outpacing him. But yeah, it was a bit rough for Neek to have that SD there as well. Very unfortunate. Yeah. Fisky note in Twitch chat. MK wins this matchup. Yeah, I can totally see that. He's fast and short, and he kind of, you know, destroys Samus once he hits her once. And yeah. if it's the same as Smash 4, I think uh, Meta Knight combos do better against floaties. I don't Definitely. remember if that's... It's, yeah. You have more time to catch them. Yeah, I, I think, like, when you are playing against floaties with Meta Knight, like, they're just the right gravity and wait to uh like for your like up, your like up air ladders to just keep going and definitely do feel like that when playing against the meta knight as a floaty or playing as meta knight against a floaty yeah you can definitely absolutely. feel that it's easier to hit some of those ladders yep so we got game three now i don't think nick's playing samus again he's probably learned his lesson that that's not happening surely probably yeah uh, it's yeah, gonna be meta knight in here yep so this is going to be our deciding game. Neek representing the old guard from JML. Oh my goodness, he's counterpicked to Lilat. Alright, what's your take on Lilat? Do you like it? Not a favorite as a hero player because of those slopes. Uh -huh. But definitely an interesting, interesting stage with um, the three platforms. Yeah. It's got a really like unique layout, definitely. Man. Very unique. Yeah. Let's see how the players use this use these platforms in this game. Oh, actually, I think the platform ruined his <laughs> ruined his combo just there because he landed when he just wanted the third up there. I think for him there, he got a Definitely jab. Definitely felt like it, but of course they would put a lot of pressure on the shield with the jab. Yep. All right, come on. That's not working. <laughs> but yeah, Neek is looking much more comfortable against the Meta Knight. Got that paint, like you know he's got the movement with the brawler that like Samus is a bit too slow uh, and kind of gets chased down really fast but with the meat brawler Nick looks a lot more comfortable definitely he's gaining their more and he's uh, taking more control of the situations yeah oh not ready to cover the tornado on the stage unfortunately Oops. oh goodness. he almost fell straight into that f smash that would have killed too better than that f smash is very very strong quite surprisingly yeah not sure what he's doing there oh great back header very nice this way very nice catch yeah takes first stock and i feel like jesse pj is struggling a bit because now uh I think he's used to just running people down, and Nick's just doing a really great job of, you know, stuffing his, like, stuffing his dashes and approaches out and, uh, just meeting him in the middle instead of running away. And Jensen PJ needs to try a bit harder to, you know, like, bait those approaches in and punish them. Oh, there we go. Doing a nice oh. job of trying to keep him off stage. Yeah, but Neek once again using that very high flip, flip jump to get out. Oh, that, well, that time though. Jazz and PJ is not having it. He's onto it. Very great adaptation by him. What we love to see. Alright. 
Oh no, you can't challenge Meta Knight. <laughs> he, he has four recovery options and they're all very hard to challenge. Oh, and then three easy to get back on, and it's yeah, very hard to challenge them. Yep. But, on the ledge though, Meta Knight might struggle a bit harder to get off. And Nick, now I think he's going to look for his, uh, his uh, flow rushes, maybe an up smash, maybe back air. And he's, once again, using that flip... Oh! <laughs> almost, almost catches the roll. Yeah, he he had the read through, just unfortunately misspaced it a little bit. That was a full charge. Oh, oh no! There's a PJ doing the wrong move for the recovery there. Yeah, super unfortunate SD. Now Nick's in the driver's seat. Maybe this will be the momentum he needs. That's two suplexes. That's the third. And the third. I thought he was going to go for a fourth one. <laughs> I, I felt it coming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got so much momentum after that unfortunate SD, man. He's definitely controlling this situation a lot. Yeah. Just needs one back air now. Maybe an up smash. Or a flurry. Oh, very close. Nah, Nick just mashes that up here. Oh! Oh, the flurry catch on the ledge. That was really cute. I think he recognized that uh, that Agenda PJ was going to either jump or do a drop down aerial and just immediately covered it. That was a really convincing last stop, I have to say. He kind of destroyed him. Very good match there. Yeah, absolutely.